Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Derek here again. I hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, sorry that it is Sunday today, so I know I normally do my videos on Saturday, but I just have had things going on, so um, that's why I'm on today. Um, so yes, like I said, I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I'm just sitting here doing a little bit of knitting. Um, let me tell you a little bit about what this is. So this is actually, um, Sheila is doing a knit along. So it's Sheila's Just Knitting is the channel. She's doing a knit along and she's actually doing a knit along knitting my cardigan that I asked her to knit. So I decided that I was going to knit along with her and knit a cardigan for me as well as the cardigan she's making for me. So um, I've chosen this color. Um, I bought this. Uh, it's called, it's Mexican Rose is the color. And this is uh, New Fashion Double Knitting by Woolcraft is actually what this is. Um, uh, 100 grams, uh, 300, 300 meters. So yes, so I decided that I was going to knit along with Sheila and work on this. And yes, we have a guest, as you can see. Um, Higgy is sitting here with me. And of course, my clock is going off as per usual on my videos. <laughs> So yes, I was, I had literally just started this. I just cast it on. I was doing the first row of ribbing. Um, so I can kind of get caught up to Sheila on hers. I'll be honest, I haven't done tons of knitting this week. Um, I was really busy at work and, and just very, very tired in the evenings. So I, I really haven't done very much. Um, however, I did get some really good news. Um, well, I knew this news, but we didn't know what it is. So my cousin, he and his wife are having a baby. And I did not know what it was. They had a gender reveal party on Friday night. And it turns out that it is a boy. So the baby blanket that I have been working on, and I've been working on it more this week, uh, here and there, <clears throat> is going to go to them uh, for their new baby boy. So let me put this knitting down and I can show you a little bit more progress on that. So a little bit more progress on it. It is growing. You know, on the video, it does not show as bright it is, as it is. It's, it's actually a little brighter than what it shows on the video um, because this is called Cloud Blue and it is it really is beautiful. It's the King Cole price wise. So yes, so that is going to be for them for their new baby when I get that finished. And really and truly, it doesn't lack very much before I get it finished. I think when I calculate it, I think I have to, I have maybe nine more rounds to do and then the border, I think. Um, so not very much at all um, on that left to do. And this, I think I did a couple of rows on this this week as you can see well I have my little point protector there um, a few more rows not not a whole lot not a whole lot um, so I gotta continue on with that but I've kind of just um, to be honest I've kind of just wanting to work on the baby blanket because I, I want to get that finished. The baby's not due until September, so I have plenty of time, but I kind of want to go ahead and get that done. Um, 
so yeah, so that's, I've been working on that a little bit more. Um, I actually finally did a couple of rows on my mom's sleeve. Um, I actually think I have three, three more rows and then I can do the, um, uh, raglan shaping on this one. So, uh, that won't be much longer. And then I just have the other sleeve to knit. And I know it's gone on way too long. It should have been done a long time ago. Um, but like I said, I've just been, you know, I've been working and, and things going on and I just haven't had uh, a ton of time. Um, I've been neglecting my knitting as they say. So I, I really have to get back to that. Um, I'll show you the Bluebell one, even though there has been no progress made on that at all. Um, it's still just like that. So there's been no progress done on that at all. So, oh, and that's what I wanted to make sure that I said. I need to am amend a statement that I said in my last video when I was saying um, what my favorite needles were and my favorite crochet hooks and all of that stuff I it is very hard for me to say that I have a favorite because I do I have so many different types of needles and I love all different types of needles um, just about every gray knitting needle that I have I love so um, but I do, I am, um, I'm partial to the gray knitting needles and I'm partial to the zings. So these are, these are zings. <laughs> so, um, I actually have a whole bag here full of zings. It's all zings in here. Um, so I keep that next to where I sit. The thing I wanted to amend was the crochet hooks. So I wasn't thinking when I, when I said that Clover Armor. So when, uh, before I changed the way that I crochet, um, you know, now I, now I know in my other videos, you've seen that I crochet the way that Sheila does or, or Sophia does. So since I have changed that, um, the hooks that I use most of the time now are arrow crochet hooks, the old arrow crochet hooks, or um, knit pro zings um, as well. Uh, they have the knit pro zing line and they had a basic line of crochet hooks as well, but I have a few of those. And so those, um, those are the ones that I, I use the most. And actually the one that I'm using for the baby blanket the reason I use them is because it's really easy to use when, when you crochet like I do, you know, now like I knit. But anyway, this is an old, I don't even know if you'll be able to see it, but this is an old, if I can get it close enough, I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but it's an old Burnett arrow crochet hook, four and a half millimeter. Now I also have some and it does say, eh, you're not gonna be able to read it, I don't think, but made in England. Um, but anyway, these are the Burnett Arrow ones that we used to get in the US many, many, many years ago. Um, and it used to be just Arrow in the UK. So I have a set of both. Um, I have the Burnett and I have the regular Arrow um, from England. But I actually found on eBay because I like to use a four and a half millimeter hook. That's what I use for DK. Um, you can use four millimeter. I, I prefer four and a half. Anyway, uh, which is a size seven in the US. But so I found on eBay uh, a lot of four of these four and a half millimeters in the Burnett. So I did buy them. I have them already, but. Um, I, I bought them because that's the size that I like to use the most. And I, I really do love these older arrow hooks. I want to see if you can see the hook on there. I just really, I, that's, that's, I just really do love those. So I keep this one. I don't have the rest of them down. I have them in a, a little cup upstairs um, with the, with the zings as well, because that's the ones I normally use. Um, but I have tons and tons and tons of crochet hooks, folks. 
Uh, I have bags, literally, full bags of crochet hooks. Um, <laughs> a lot that I will be probably getting rid of. Um, I will be selling. What I plan to do probably um, is later in the year when it gets cooler again, I will probably have a, like a craft sale. Um, out of my garage, a garage sale, but it'll be a craft sale as well as some other things. Um, and I will probably be selling a lot of my crochet hooks and knitting needles because I have way entirely too many, way more than I'm ever, ever going to use. Um, so yes, I, I will definitely be doing that, uh, to try to de-stash some of everything that I have. But yes, so I'm really enjoying this. And I, I, like I said, I really love the name that they, it does not say the name on the, the ball band uh, of this color, but um, it did say it um, online. I bought this from Knitting Wool Sales uh, and I bought seven, I have seven balls of it. This so it should be enough um, for that. Um, but uh, yeah, I absolutely love it. And, and I love pink as well. I love all colors. So, you know, I don't care what <laughs> I wear all different kinds of colors. So I thought, you know what? I said, I'm going to just follow along with Sheila and I am going to knit that cardigan as well because it is a cardigan to fit me. So Yes. So, as I said in the beginning of my video, you know, I hope everybody is doing really well. Um, I always enjoy being able to come on and talk to everybody. Um, and I love all of your lovely, lovely comments. Please know that I do read all the comments. Um, now, in the future, when... Um, the, the channel continues to grow and gets larger and whatever. I may not be able to read all the comments, but I do try. And I, I try to read all the comments. And actually, um, up till now, pretty much all of the comments um, I, I put a heart on, uh, usually. Um, so I do, I am reading it. So even if I don't respond to your comment, please know I have read them. Um, and I appreciate you so much. I really, really do. Um, like I said, I really am trying to build up this channel. Um, I do have plans in the future to start making more videos instead of just the once a week. Um, it's just been that way as of now. Um, but I do plan to, to get to where I can make more than just once a week. Um, I really would like to do three times a week if possible. Um, but what I want to do for that is I want to get um, my room set up upstairs. My spare room is a disaster because it has wool everywhere and I need to get it organized. And once I can get that organized, I would like to start shooting some of my videos, um, recording my videos up there. Um, so that way I can do more a week. And that way I'm not down here and I'm not disturbing, you know, my fiance and, and stuff when I, when I make them, if it's during the week and the evening or, or whatnot. Um, so that way I can, I can join y'all a little bit more and, and, and show y'all a little bit more progress on things and a little bit sooner than waiting a week later. Um, but yes, so please, um, like, and subscribe. Um, if you're enjoying my content, please like and subscribe. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, I hope you all are well. Um, please take care. I love you all. Until next time, bye for now.